anyway, very pleased to join you. I'm going to start with a song uh, connected to my morning walk, which uh, takes me around the edge of the village here into the fields. And the fields right now are alive with skylarks, um, which just make the most beautiful sound. So this is called The Lark in the Clear Air. Dear thoughts are in my mind And my soul it soars enchanted As I hear the sweet lark sing In the clear air of the day For a tender beaming smile To my hope has been granted Tomorrow she will hear all my fond high highs to say. I will tell her of my love and my soul's pure adoration, and I know she will hear my voice and she will not answer. It's a beautiful song with a really beautiful story. Um, the Lark and the Clear Air. The words are written by a poet from Belfast called, who was called Samuel Ferguson. He was a, a renowned poet of the 19th century. And he and his wife, who was called um, Mary Ferguson, they were kind of a centre for artists and musicians and writers from all over Europe meeting. And they would often have soirees. And, uh, one time they were entertaining a, a harper and composer from Sweden called Alfred Sjöden and uh, he heard Mary Ferguson singing about her house the melody for that song which I think she had collected from a traveller woman from the west of Ireland. I think it's called The Taylor Lad and um, it was one of her favourite tunes and she was diddling it about her house and he asked to learn it and he took it back to Sweden, transcribed it for harp and totally fell in love with it and he wrote to Samuel Ferguson saying I love this tune so much would you conjure some words to accompany the tune and Samuel Ferguson wrote those words and that's how the song came to be and uh, it's a beautiful story because it's really about things coming from many places a tune from the traveller tradition um, a harper from Sweden in Belfast and uh, the whole thing is only possible because of all this mix of people. Anyway, I do love the Skylarks. Um, like all the rest of you, uh, my world has shrunk to uh, a circumference of about two miles around my house and uh, I am very blessed to live in a beautiful part of the world that I genuinely love and uh, I've spent the last 
dozen or more years um, traipsing through fields and woods and back paths in this part of the world. And this next song is about this place, um, the kind of extremity of where I can walk just now um, under lockdown takes me as far as a hamlet called Crichton, I can go to the Preston Hall estate and I can get as far as Whitborough and the Salters Road, not quite as far as the hamlet of Valadam. Um, but this is a song called Salters Road. I wrote it for an old neighbour of mine who was called Molly Christensen and it name checks a lot of the places round about here. It's very much of this part of the world and it's an ode in memory of Molly who travelled many places in her life, including Canada and Orkney and ultimately across to Scandinavia where she met her husband Otto. So, Salters Road. She was waiting for a boy in her corduroy breeches, driving on a Clydesdale like her father once had done. From Mutton Hall to Preston Hall, through all the dells and ditches, and an avenue of Burley Beach that reached towards the sun. For miles and miles and miles she rode, down Salter's Road to Faladam and all the way home. For miles and miles and miles she broke. She was waiting for a boy in his trues of navy cotton. Something she had half forgotten is as clear as water now. The horseman's only daughter takes the Friday boat to Bergen. And the waves swell like a barley field, it's ready to lay down. For miles and miles and miles she rode, down Salter's Road to Faladam and all the way home. For miles and miles and miles she rode. Down the spine of the St. Lawrence to Kirkwall's stony shore. The old north wind gathers her into his arms once more. She was waiting for a boy, he came skipping down to greet her. Through the starch and bleach and buttons, he was singing out her name. Evening clouds are huddled in so close that you could catch them. Granite sheet upon the river and the shimmering of rain. For miles and miles and miles she rode. Down the Salter's Road to Faladam and all the way home. For miles and miles and miles she rode. Down with the long and windy mains and all the way home. So that's Salter's Road for Molly Christensen. Um, I love this place that I live in. I feel absolutely blessed to live in this village. We're a community of about a thousand people in the village of Pathhead itself. And some of them include my dear friends, uh, including Inga Thompson that I play with in my band. I can literally see the back of 
Inga Thompson and Martin Green's house from my um, back doorstep and there's a little hub of musicians here, about 20 musicians that live in the village who, who are really good friends and I have lovely neighbours out the front, a lot of elderly neighbours in this um, part of the, of the village and uh, several of them are, are still keeping at their gardens. Um, it's probably one of the greatest blessings about living here is that almost everyone has a garden in this community. I want to show you one thing just to kind of give you an indication of what I think is the beauty of the place that I live in at this moment in time. So this is a bag of, it's a bag of fruit and vegetables. There's tatties and onions and apples and bananas and oranges. It's been even hand decorated. And this wee bag has been put together by my neighbours, Tim and Jenny. Um, Jenny's a fantastic fiddler as well. And they have, uh, Tim has been going to the fruit market in Glasgow and yesterday brought back um, a pile of fruit and veg, which they sorted into five pound and 10 pound bags. They left it on a wee barrow at the edge of the wee park in behind my house um, with an honesty box. And I think they shifted about 80 to 100 bags of fruit and vegetables as a civic service to the people in our village because there's now no longer any bus service. And um, if you live in this community and have no car, it's not possible to get to a shop over and above the wee tiny village store, which is doing its best, but you can't really get fresh produce. So um, that kind of act is indicative of really cause some quite beautiful things that are happening in my village. I hope there's beautiful stuff happening in your communities too. Um, I'm going to sing a song which is not one of mine. It's by a songwriter called Rick Anthony who is from Aberdeen but lives in Glasgow now and he performs under the name Rick Redbeard. It's a song called Wild Love and uh, and one of the things I am finding tricky right now is I don't live with my partner and uh, uh, I probably would see my partner for many months. Um, he lives 19 minutes away by car, but at 19 minutes is a very, very far distance at this point in time. So um, this one is for any of you. I know m many of you will be separated from people that you love right now. And this is a wee nod to all of you. His cries will echo through the silver door. Do you know the way my wild love is gone? Night, night. 
your worries age and fade away. Let these lonely nights give way to day. Ease the while my suffering. Rick Redbeard's Wild Love. I'm getting signalled at over here um, by uh, Alba. Um, hang on, it's got a wee update here. You like that one? How come you like that one? It had a fox in it. It did have a fox in it. Uh huh. Have I got any songs about bears? I don't have any songs about bears, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to put them back. I do have more songs about um, birds, though, and uh, I've been part of a beautiful project called Spell Songs that I know some of you are aware of. Um, five of my seven musical compadres on Spell Songs, um, Judy Fowles, Chris Drever, Rachel Newton, Beth Porter and Kerry Andrew have all been guests of Folk on Foot. I think all or most of them are offering sets for today's Front Room Festival. Um, and a wee wave to Seku Keita and Jim Molyneux as well. And to Jackie Morris and Robert McFarlane who inspired that project. I'm going to sing one song from that project to close in a moment. But before then, Jackie Morris um, embodied each of the musicians involved in that project as a, as a creature. And... Um, well, what, what she said specifically was that we were the spirit embodiment of the creatures rather than they being spirit animals or any such thing. And this is how she represented me as a wee wren, which totally delighted me. We have wrens in our garden and um, I love wrens. And this is inspired by uh, some lore around, around the wren. The wren in old um, tail is the king of birds. It trumps the eagle in a flying competition by means of its diminutive size and wit and guile. And this is a song um, inspired by Christopher Wren, a nod to um, St Paul's Cathedral, which he designed. And, uh, and I will send it out to the City of London at the moment because I am well aware that to live in the middle of a huge city like London is a much more stressful and claustrophobic experience than to live in a village like Pathhead. And what's happening right now affects all of us, but um, my heart is actually quite sore for London. So um, a wee bit of a blessing on London. This is the King of Birds. <laughs> Gate Hill on the cracks of black and cobbles of the town. The ashes fall to rest as the tiny king of birds he flutters down to build a citadel to lay glory and 
very much for joining me in my front room this afternoon I have just one more song for you and it's a song from Spell Songs I wrote it with all my project bandmates and it's, it's called The Lost Words Blessing and um, it's drawn from the words and images of Robert McFarlane and Jackie Morris whose beautiful book, The Lost Words, is kind of a hymn to the natural world around us. And I know for many of us, um, we're perhaps noticing things that we haven't noticed as acutely or attentively um, uh, as we might otherwise have done. I certainly am. I'm really noticing um, everything that's alive in my garden. And, uh, and my daughter is keeping a, a log of all the birds that arrive in the back and we've had green finches and gold finches and wrens and dunnocks and sparrows and it's been amazing. Um, this blessing, uh, yeah, this blessing I offer to all of you on behalf of the Spell Songs crew and uh, I wish you all very well and hope you're enjoying the music. Okay, take care. Good evening. 
Take care.